For the last few days, people have been posting pictures of uh, trucks fully loaded with uh, Model Ys coming out of Tesla's Freeman factory. Um, going to there to meet their new owners. The delivery starts on March 15th. And now that Model Y is in play, uh, the question is, is this going to be the best Tesla ever up to date for, for at, the very, at the very least? And I say... Yes. Now we're going to have to define what the best ever or best up to date really is. Um, and, and we're going to do that. But I, when I, I remember at the unveiling, which by the way, the unveiling, um, this, this car was promised half a year from now. So Tesla is, as you know, ahead of the schedule, which is kind of amazing. But I remember I was at the unveiling and then I was, you know, the next day I remember that no one was really talking about the Model Y. Everyone was talking about Elon's shoes, uh, the teaser image of the Cybertruck. Uh, by the way, now that I know what Cybertruck looks like, I still don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Is it just me? I'm, I'm, am I supposed to? Uh, anyway, uh, let me know how you feel about that as well. But by the way, if you're, uh, if you're looking to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, uh, click on the subscribe button. And if you already have, the work is not done yet. Uh, go click on the subscribe on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so uh, back to the back to the Model Y. Um, now, first, uh, you know, uh, not only I agree with Elon still that that it's going to be the most popular as far as sales uh, uh, model, even though uh, outsell Model Model Three. Though, as you guys know, a few days ago, I put out a video saying there's some alarming news that Tesla is trying to push some of the seven-seater configurations ahead of everybody else so they can sell some more performances up front. I, I mean, yes, it's alarming, but uh, I still think that's because I don't think too many people would want to buy a, um, a uh, actual, like, performance Model Y. I think everybody who wants a performance, they're kind of going to go for the Model 3. But... Do I think that Model Y will take a chunk of Model 3 sales? That's very possible, and even Model X sales. Um, now, let's talk about what's what's best Tesla ever, right? Now, if you think, like, if I would say best Tesla technologically, then it would be this one, the Model X. I mean, with the wing doors and all the technology and, and, and the self-opening doors, I mean, I, I really think it is. If you want to talk about the, uh, the performance, then obviously we got P100D, uh, uh, Model S, uh, but I think as far as consumers are concerned, I think that the best, uh, 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 best Tesla uh, is the one that is most appealing to the customers. And uh, first of all, as we know, that uh, a, a compact crossover SUV is the most popular thing that people are buying, not only here in the United States, but also in Europe and China. So it should be popular around the world. Now the price is still pretty good. The price is around uh, forty thousand um, dollars, you know. And yes, there are no incentives here in the United States, uh, but there are some still some states. Like for example, there's Colorado and New Jersey, five thousand dollars off. In uh, many other uh, regions, it's up to ten thousand. So the price is very much right, if you ask me. Um, then also they won't have the production hell because they already kind of know how to make this car because the 75% of it is the same as Model 3. And I think that's the genius of the Model Y. Um, but the number one thing that I think uh, why, why people will, will, will get this car and will be more popular than Model 3 is the fact that it's a hatchback. I mean, people need space. Uh, they go camping, they have kids, they go shopping and they need space. And what Model 3 lacks is, is that space, right? There's a trunk but you can't even put stuff through it like in a lot of cars you can uh like fully so the model y is really going to be a more popular and better version of the model 3 and as you know model 3 has been selling very well i'll tell you what i think is the most amazing thing about the Model 3 sales that even I didn't really anticipate. Uh, uh, before I tell you that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by, by Byton. Check out their all electric uh, SUV called Ambyte coming to the US and Europe. Uh, absolutely no money down to reserve one. Takes about a minute of your time. So go to the description of this video to reserve your Byton today. And by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla, including the Model Y. Uh, use E4 electric discount code to get yourself a discount for orders over $100 at evanx.com. All right, so why I think that I was surprised by, by sales of Model 3 never even like slowing down is because, you know, as the Model 3, after Model 3 came out, 
the $7,500 tax credit in the United States started going away little by little by little. And now it's completely gone. And yeah, they're selling more of them than ever. I really thought it would slow people down, but it hasn't. So the price, you know, Model Y is about what, probably $4,000 more uh, than, the, than the Model 3. I'm talking about the base, base price. I think people will be more than willing to pay that if they had no problems with a $7,500 price increase on a $35,000, $40,000 car. Uh, I don't think they have, will have a problem paying an extra $4,000 to get some extra uh, extra space in the back. And you know, their other option is really either Model S and Model X, and we're talking about twice as much money, right? So yeah, I really do believe that this is the best. Uh, um, the best uh, that, that Tesla ever have made. And I don't think the Cybertruck is going to beat that. I really think that, um, you know, I, I really think that, uh, that this car will uh, will continue selling way over the Cybertruck. And just like I said, like this is the footage from the, uh, from the unveiling. And, uh, you know, I think... I think this kind of a, it's it's almost uh, it's almost kind of ironic, right? That the that the event itself was probably the least exciting Tesla event, yet it's going to convert uh, into the best sales and the best car from Tesla. By the way, let me know if you agree in the comment section. Uh, are you a reservation holder, or maybe you're getting delivery to, or if you did get Model Three, or maybe some other EV? Let me know why. What is it that attracted you more than um, the Model Y? Um, it's going to be very interesting how it's going to play out in the next few uh, next few months. I know we don't know the reservation numbers for Model Y, which is a little weird. That's why I was kind of concerned because they released it for the Cybertruck, they released it for the Model 3. But on the other hand, we learned that, you know, the Model 3 reservation list wasn't really worth anything because most of the Model 3s that were purchased actually were never reservation holders. So I guess at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. But I'm definitely interested how it's going to sell here, Europe and China, hopefully with the coronavirus kind of a hopefully going away and, and factories reopening and stuff like that. So uh, let me know in the comment section, uh, what do you guys think? If uh, if uh, it is indeed the best Tesla ever or up to date. And if not, let me know uh, which one you would pick. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.